Okay, uh, this is the third chapter of this tutorial, and uh, here I'm going to talk about surface detail. This video is really sped up. Uh, I think it's an hour of footage compressed down to five or six minutes. You can see I have the muscles roughed in, but otherwise there's, there's nothing else there. It's just really smooth and kind of boring. So, almost right away I'm going to grab an alpha and I'm going to pick one with longer lines through it that will mimic muscle striations and so I'm, I'm aiming that along the length of the muscle so here I'm using the damn standard brush which is a brush made by an artist named uh, Damien Canderlay I think if I'm pronouncing that correct you can download that anywhere just do a search for damn standard brush on, uh, on ZBrush Central it's a really neat brush cuts in I like to use it to uh, sort of slash up my model. I use it mostly in a subtractive way. And that's what I'm using here to cut into the, the jaw muscle. So you can see it's just a mixture of cutting in and adding and, and re-examining the surface. And I don't want any of it to be even. Like I don't want parallel lines. I don't want uh, lines crossing at 90 degrees. And uh, I just don't want an even amount of detail over this character. I, you, you never want an even amount of detail because uh, that way it just looks like noise or it looks boring. So those are the things that I'm paying attention to as I am cutting into the surface. It's a mistake to lay down an alpha and then walk away and say it's done. Like, I have this rock alpha and I project it over this, these polygons and now it's a rock. You know, that's not really a good way to think about how to use alphas. For me it's something I lay down first and then I respond to it and uh, sort of zoom in and I enunciate the areas I like. So uh, there you can see my picture of a seashell, which I'm using as reference. So now I kind of jumped onto the other area, the shell part of this character, or this, this head plate. I just wanted two opposing surfaces. It seems to be something that I do with my work. So here, the outside of the mouth, just trying to get some kind of a transition there. You know, I don't really know what surface I'm going for in this little area, but it's those transitions that are, are really interesting and really fun to play with. If you were to zoom into the piece, it's like you're making mini abstract paintings all over it. With detail, there's, there's really two parts. The first is conceptualizing what you're going to do with it, and you, you pick your your sort of texture types that you lay down. So I have muscle versus shell. Uh, and then it's the the application of it over the whole model. And so that can be a bit laborious, but it's something that you know you have to do it and it's you can find entertaining ways to work through it because each area, each transition is going to be you're going to be pr solving the problem slightly differently and you want each of those transitions to be believable so it's it's always a uh, you're laying down the detail but the transitions is, is always a little puzzle that you have to solve okay uh, we're gonna wrap up this chapter I'm gonna run the smart resim copy detail from one side to the other. Uh, one thing I should mention is that all of this detail will probably not make it into the print uh, just because of the scale. It's only going to be an 8 or a 12 inch print, but uh, the impression of it will and uh, and putting in detail is really fun. You might want this for a render, you might want this for any number of things. Uh, that'll be it for this chapter. Next we will take the figure and uh, go over posing. <laughs>